So, welcome back again sa ating video lesson for entrepreneurship. So, for week 5, we're going to talk about the module 3. So, ipa-flash ko lang siya. Okay. So, ayan. Preparing, analyzing, and forecasting financial statements. Okay. So, ano yung mga pwede nating uh, i-forecast na mga numbers sa ating business. Okay? So, uh, palatalin lang natin itong overview na ito, itong discussion na ito para sa lahat. Okay? So, again, uh, I would like to acknowledge yung mga, uh, yung ating writer po ng module na ginagamit natin, si Sir Ariel Gutierrez, teacher 2 of Justado Makapagal Memorial High School, Florida Blanca, together with his editors. Okay? So, ayan, what I need to know, forecast the revenues of the business. Okay, the possible revenues. Okay, so you have your preliminary activities. Okay, so multiple choice. Pakisulat po sa notebook. Okay, so ayan, forecasting financial statements. Okay, so for, ayan, what's in? So complete the web diagram. Ayan, think of the terms associated with cash flow. Okay, so kindly draw this in your notebook. So I'm going to look for this dun sa mga picture na isisend niya sa akin. So, after this activity, answer the, ayan, number two, so, essay. So, how do you determine your own wealth? Okay? How would you know if an item is asset liability or both? Okay? So, kindly discuss or kindly have your own opinion. Next, and what's new? Another case study. So, kindly read this and read and understand carefully and answer uh, these questions. Who has the problem? What is their problem? And, and what do you think will happen to their business market condition in the future? So, yeah, let's go to the topic itself. So, forecasting financial statement. So, first, we have the income statement forecasting. So, uh, when we say forecasting, you are going to uh, predict uh, what would be yeah, the uh, sales or the cost of sales. Okay, so for you to determine the uh, possible income that you could generate. Okay, so ayan, tingnan natin to past sales. So, 2011, 1000. So, a percentage increase, so 100% increase. So, naging 1-1 one -one siya. So, etong percentage na to, uh, kayo mag determine ito. Okay, based on your uh, opinion or based on your uh, uh, operation procedures, processes, gano. sa tingin nyo, ilang percent na pwedeng may, may increase okay, sa inyong sales or even the market condition. Okay, so kayo mag-determine ito. So, ayan, for the 2014-2015 ilan, okay, if consistent ang uh, percentage ng uh, magiging increase ng inyong sales. Okay, so, ganun yung gagawin ninyo. Ayan, just complete the table. Okay, ayan. So, we have here the discussion. Ayan. So, for the sales forecast, ayan, ayan 100% over those three years. Okay. On the sales forecast for the next two years can be set uh, approximate growth trend for the last three years. So, for the last three years, 100%. So, yung the next two years, iset na lang din natin ng parehas. Okay? So, we are going to uh, base this on historical data ng inyong company. Okay? Then next is the balance sheet forecasting. Here, ayan, the current assets of the balance sheet uh, includes cash, marketable securities, which we discussed with in the previous module, the last module lang natin, and other current assets. Okay, so these assets in the balance sheet must always equal to the liabilities and owner's equity. So, yan yung ating magiging accounting equation. Okay, but according to our module, kapag, ayan, for, ayan, for, for, for my balance sheet, uh, there is a possibility na it will not be the same, okay, for the initial attempt. Okay, so this is our sample pro forma balance sheet. For, so you can see this in your module. So, ayan, you have here your assets, current assets, and ayan, 
other uh, total and current assets. Then you have here your liabilities. Ah, yan. Ay, buhok. Teka, lalakihan ko lang siya. Zoom natin ng konti. Ayan. Okay, so forecasted for ayan, for 2012 and we have a forecast for 2013. So, this is for the total asset. So, we have 120 and 151 for the next year. Okay. Then, for li liabilities, ayan, isa-isahin natin siya dyan. Nilista natin. Ayan. And, ayan, stockholders equity. So, same yung ating 2012. But, pagdating dito kay 2013, ah, hindi siya balance eh. So, yun yung sinasabi kanina na there could be a possibility na hindi siya mag-balance for the initial attempt. Since forecasting naman. Pinaforecast pa lang din naman natin siya. But, itong 2012, since, ayun, audited na siya, kailangan talagang balance ito. So, that's why we call it as the performer balance sheet. Okay. Next, hiliitan ko na siya uli. Ayan. Next is, ayan, funds flow forecasting. Okay, so, ito naman, uh, you are going to uh, forecast, ayan, the cash position using the sources and uses of funds. Okay, yung mga pinanggalingan at yung paggagamitan. Okay, so, ito yung ating magiging sample. So, yung beginning balance, less, ay, add yung other sources nyo. Okay. 300, 600, so equals the possible cash available. And then less, ayan, yung mga liabilities. And in case in asset account. So, ayan. Ito yung magiging net cash position ninyo. Okay? Okay, so don't worry since uh, yung mga, kayo naman, so I, I have uh, STEM gas in uh, Yum's class. Uh, hindi kahit na hindi muna tayo mag-focus dito. Okay, but at least you have your uh, overview kung paano ginagawa yung mga ganitong financial statements. Okay, and then next, ayan, cash flow forecasting naman. So, ito naman, concerned about the enterprise survival on day-to-day -day basis. So, gano'n pa karami yung uh, cash inflows and cash outflows na meron kayo. Okay, so, ayan, projected for 2013. So, ayan. So, you have your sales, cost of sales. Ayan. So, pinapakita ko lang din kung paano yung magiging uh, posibleng uh, gagawin ninyo if talagang itutuloy ninyo yung inyong business venture. So, ipo-forecast mo kasi isa-isa yan. So, ayan. Say, for example, sales ay 450 for the whole 2012. Ayan. Actual. So, for 2013, ilan yung inyong mga itatarget? Ayan. So, for January, ayan. Pataas. Ayan. May months na bababa. Bakit? Maybe seasonal yung yung magiging products. Okay. So, ito siya. Okay. So, uses. So, using financial forecast to evaluate business and investment decision. So, usually kapag, ayan, may mga cash payback period, return on investment. Uh, ito yung tinitingnan ng mga uh, posible nyo maging investor. Let's say, lalapit kayo sa mga financing uh, companies or banks. Titingnan nila kung uh, gano'ng ka-feasible yung inyong uh, business venture. So, ang titingnan nila doon yung inyong mga projected financial statements. Okay? So, ayan. That ends yung ating overview. Overview na lang talaga ang gagawin natin. Okay? So, activity one. Ayan. So, you, have, you should have to answer this, give for financial statement and brief statements. Next, how can uh, planning to finance statement be useful to you in your own words? So, for this activity too, in, ayan, what's more, skip na lang natin. Okay, so class, uh, uh, kahit hindi nyo na muna to gawin in your notebook. Okay, and then, yan, what I have learned uh, fill in the blanks. Okay, so for what I can do, ayan, so, i-apply nyo lang yung natutunan ninyo. So, uh, my own financial literacy. Okay, so, ano ang inyong pwedeng maging problem? Okay, so, ayan, identify one problem and how would you solve this? 
Okay? So, ayan. Problem. And then, yung step-by-step step na pwede ninyong gawin. So, write this in your notebook. Okay? Uh, sige. Uh, hahanapin ko na lang din ito dun sa magiging output ninyo sa notebook. Okay? Pag pinature ninyo. Be creative, ha, mga anak? Ayan. Kahit ilang step. Let's say, for example, until step 5. Masosolve nyo na siya. Okay na yun. Okay, so what have you learned in giving steps in managing your own financial expenses? Ano ang inyong natutunan? Okay, and then you have your assessment. For additional activities, uh, since medyo madami na rin ata yung naging previous activities, you can skip this. Okay? So that's all for uh, this week's module, module 3. Okay, so um, for the next week 6 and 7 module, I'm going to upload a overview and quick discussion na lang. So that's all for now. Bye-bye!